Hello my friends and welcome to a special edition of Running with Ryan. Today we're talking all about the Boulder Boulder. Welcome to the Boulder Boulder. It is the best day of the year here in Boulder, Colorado. What is the Boulder Boulder? Well, it's one of the biggest 10Ks in the country. Over 50,000 people hit the streets right here in Boulder, Colorado. It's been going on for 41 years. It's one of the oldest 10Ks in the nation. Some of the fastest runners from around the world come here. And for me personally, it has special significance because this is the race that got me excited about running when I was just a little dude. When I was six years old, I ran my first Boulder boulder and I absolutely loved it since then I've run almost every single one I've only missed it twice when I was living in Honduras during the Peace Corps and I've started to work for the Boulder Boulder I do a lot of the broadcasting for the Boulder Boulder I run it I love it it's a huge community event it brings this whole town together it is my favorite weekend of the year I call it my Christmas Day so today ladies and gentlemen we're gonna go running with the director of the Boulder Boulder Cliff Bosley. All right, here we are at the Boulder Boulder offices. Let's go pull Cliff out of whatever he's doing. I know he's a busy man, but uh, it's time to run. There he is, the man, the myth, the legend, Frank Shorter, Olympic gold medalist and one of the founders of the Boulder Boulder. We're gonna get him on this show sometime. I snuck into their warehouse. Check this place out. They have all the old posters on the wall from all the Boulder Boulders. They even have a bunch of Christmas trees from their race in the winter, the colder Boulder. And I'm just gonna sit here and, and wait for Cliff. He's kind of a busy guy. Oh wait, there he is, look. There he is right here. How's it going, Cliff? <laughs> Terrific, how are you? <laughs> I imagine you're kind of busy. Yeah, things are busy. Races in two days. Yeah, we're all right. ready. You have plenty of time to go for a run though, right? Yeah, let's go do it. I would like to point out that we are are totally twinning today same shirt pants and look at these shoes Colorado flag on the shoes Woo, boulder 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 oh yeah look at that I didn't even notice that that is so awesome are we there yet we're, <laughs> oh. we're we've got a few steps you can do it Cliff <laughs> so let's go way back way back when you were a child what was your first boulder boulder how old were you 12 12 yeah 1979 gosh you're old I know just kidding <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's become a legend in the entire world, really. Some of the best runners, some of the best elites, the best citizen people come out to run this race. But you always talk about the community aspect. Talk about that. Well, you know, it's, it is the thing that I think brings everybody in town together. Yeah. So, you know, it's Memorial Day. It's the largest Memorial Day tribute in the entire nation. So it has a lot to do with patriotism and honoring our troops. You know, the race is awesome because it's about running. Yeah. And, um, but it allows us the opportunity to maybe do something more and um, honor those, uh, you know, service servicemen and women who've given their life uh, yeah. defending the country. My grandpa fought in Vietnam. I have plenty of friends that have gone off to war and served our country. And when those jets fly over, Man. I always get a tear in my eye. Awesome. It is such a powerful moment. And essentially the entire city of Boulder is in that stadium, yep. feeling that energy. Yep. And to me, that's the magic of the Boulder Boulder. For sure, Ryan. And if, it, if the Boulder Boulder didn't exist, where would those thousands of people otherwise go yeah. to pay tribute or even think about Memorial Day? That's very true. So not, not that people don't, but this kind of connects it all. Let's go. Let's go back to the race. race. You've brought in over the years some of the fastest runners in the world, and you really value having some of the top international elites. And it's, I think, if, correct me if I'm wrong, the largest prize purse outside of a marathon, right? That's right. Yeah. And over that period of time, over 110 Olympians from a bunch of different countries have raced at wow. the Boulder Boulder. That's so cool. And when I was growing up, I mean, there was the legendary Rosa Moda, Arturo Barrios, Armando Quintanilla, like all these legendary names. And even today, you know, you have some of the fastest 
Kenyans, Ethiopians, Americans. You even brought in a Cuban team. And even for those who are never going to be in the Olympics, like me, <laughs> when you run into that stadium, it's just like, whoa, they're all cheering for me. That's right, they are. You know, and it feels so good. No matter what speed you're running, you feel special running this race because, you know, there's people all along the course cheering you on. There's bands and music and Elvis and, you know, it's, it's really is a community event and you feel like an all-star. Exactly. Yeah. And that's what it's about. From the beginning, the battle cry has been, oh yes, you can. Yeah. And, you know, that resonates, right? Yeah. It's our affirmation to 50,000 people that, yes, you can do this. Yeah. Theirs to us is, oh yes, I will. <laughs> exactly. And over the years, you've started what's called the middle school challenge, right? Where you're trying to get young kids involved with running and not just running fast, but just physical fitness in general, right? Right. Currently, we're in 90 middle school and grade schools with about oh, 2,000 kids. Wow. And they started their training back in March. And uh, so here on Monday, they're going to run in a special wave with all their classmates. Oh, I love it. And running is one of those sports that pretty much anybody can do. You know, you don't have to be rich. You don't have to have a lot of equipment. You essentially need a pair of shoes and some time to train. Exactly. And so I think of running as like the great equalizer. That's why when you watch the Olympics in the summer, there are runners from every single country involved. Because no matter if you're from a small village in Africa or a town in Sweden, everybody can run. It's not like the bobsled where, you know, <laughs> not many people can do bobsled because you need to have a bobsled run to train on. I think your point's right about the sort of an international sport, but an international pastime. Yeah. Like soccer. Yep, exactly. And so you've been the race director for how long now? So I've raced, let's see, I've directed 20 races. 20 races. So this, assuming we get through Monday, we'll be 21. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> that, that's, that's a great thing, but it also means you probably haven't run the Boulder Boulder yourself in a long time. Yeah, the last Boulder Boulder I got to run was in 1989. Oh man, that was a while ago. It's changed a lot since then. My, uh, <laughs> I have two younger brothers and two younger sisters and all five of us ran it together that day. Oh, that's cool. It's awesome. Speaking of that, there's a lot of families that run together, family reunions that are happening, <laughs> you know, and the Boulder Boulder just, it brings the state together. For me, that's that's it, that's the magic. And you have how many volunteers? Over 2,000 volunteers, right? 2,000 race day volunteers. Wow. And we, we figure, right. So, guess what? I'm, Monday, if I don't show up, <laughs> the race is probably gonna happen. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah. Where's Cliff? Oh, it's fine. We have plenty of volunteers. Exactly. <laughs> but if those 2,000 volunteers don't show up, we're not going anywhere. Yeah, that's true. And uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but those volunteers, they a lot of times are raising money for certain nonprofits or groups that they're part of, right? Yeah, after school, athletic clubs, bands, National Honor Society, uh, service clubs and so this is the equivalent of their car wash yeah except we're bringing the cars and let's talk quickly about some of the the satellite races that you call base races now around the world that uh -huh. happen at the same time as the boulder boulder or you know the same weekend yes in fact we normally they coincide so they're running at nine o'clock or eight o'clock yeah. on Memorial Day, halfway around the world. Oh, that's cool. Which means we're getting photos the night before, <laughs> and they've already run their Boulder Boulder. That's so cool. So there's, let's see, 2,400 running this year. Quickly, your dad, so your dad started it, but you still work with your dad, right? Yeah, we work together. He's a genius. He's a genius, yeah. Uh, and he's a nice guy. And a good guy. Yeah. But, uh, Virtually every innovation we have, wave start, stadium finish, um, 
age group times. Yeah. All came out of his head. Wow. That's cool. And I have to say that, you know, I love getting the medal in the mail sent to me for being top 10 in my age group. And uh, it means a lot for a young person to like get a Boulder Boulder medal. What was, what place did you get last year? Last year I got fifth place. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna do better this year. Well, you're in a... I'm, I'm in the 40 year old category now, so I think most people are getting slower and I'm kind of maintaining. <laughs> or getting faster. Or getting faster, yeah, I do feel a little faster. So now you're officially a master. Yes, wow, am I really? Yeah, for oh, I feel so old now. You're a master. I remember when I was a kid <laughs> and I would see the masters and I was like, oh, those gray haired old guys. <laughs> so a race with 50,000 people, that produces a lot of waste. But you guys compost all the cups and tell me about that stuff. Yeah, so uh, we have aid stations uh, along the course at the start and at the finish. And so there's about 250,000 cups. Wow. So we work with EcoCycle and the University of Colorado's Recycling Center and we're able to compost every one of those cups. We talked about the pro races, how much money do they win? I know you said it's the biggest prize purse outside of a marathon. Yeah. How much can they? Well, so last year, total prize money paid out was about $166,300. <laughs> to be exact. About, yeah. <laughs> and uh, the, uh, we have, uh, let's see, that was paid out to, oh, let me see here, roughly, a dozen and a half athletes. Wow. And so So a dozen and a half athletes are sharing a hundred. Okay. Actually about half the field. Half the field. And so and that's men and women. Okay. So yeah, it's a big deal. And the men and women get equal pay, right? Oh uh, they do. Absolutely. Yes. Absolutely. Look at this. So these are the trucks where all the journalists and stuff are driving in front of the winners, right here. Right here. Yeah. Look at that. Cool, huh? It is cool. So we we get about 100 people on this one and about 50 on that. Wow, where do you store these? <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a barn out uh, east near I-25. Yeah, well you're all ready for the 4th of July parade with one of these yeah, I know, <laughs> so they come out one week a year. Okay, yeah. So 358 days a year there, That's so on blocks, <laughs> undercover. <laughs> well, I can't thank you enough for you and your father and Frank Shorter and everybody involved, all the volunteers, for putting on the best race I've ever run and will ever run. And I wish you the best of luck. Thank you. On Monday. You too. Yeah, thank you. And uh, thanks for the good word. And, you got it. Um, and thanks for running to help it and telling our story. Oh. That's what helps it get better. I love it. Well, here we are at the offices. I'm going to drop you off so you can get back Woo. to work. A little sweatier than normal, but uh, <laughs> go Boulder Boulder. And yeah. thank you all out there for, for following. Uh, Cliff Bosley, I'll, I'll link to some things, some information about him and his family and what they've done over the past few years here in Boulder. And we will see you next time for another edition of Running with Ryan.